Hi guys, the objective of this video is to define what is a sedimentary rock and look at how sedimentary rock forms. And then we will also have a quick look at the different types of sedimentary rocks. So sedimentary rock is formed through the accumulation of sediment, which then undergoes a process of lithification to form hard solid rock. There are four main types of sedimentary rock, which all form from the cementing of different types of sediment. Clastic sedimentary rock is made from fragments of weathered rock called clasts. Biochemical sedimentary rock is made up of shells which are cemented together. Organic sedimentary rock is formed by the accumulation of organic matter, including plants and animals, which are then altered underground. And finally, chemical sedimentary rock is made up of minerals that crystallize and precipitate directly from water. The most common type of sedimentary rock is clastic sedimentary rock, and it's the one that we will be referring to the most. So just before the sediment is laid down at the bottom of a lake or on the sea floor or in a riverbed, it first must be created. But how is sediment created? Sediment is created through the process of weathering and erosion. Weathering is the breaking down of rock, which is then removed through erosion. Weathering can either be physical or chemical, and it forms something that we call detrius, which is just the broken up rock. Erosion is then the removal of this weathered rock from the site of the source rock. The detrius is then transported by gravity, wind, water or ice, and it is then deposited at, at, or laid down in layers where it is able to accumulate. This sediment can then be buried under many more layers of sediment and is compacted. This compaction squeezes all the water out of the sediment. The sediment, after it is being compacted, undergoes a process of lithification where it is cemented together by minerals that precipitate out of the groundwater. These minerals that precipitate out of the groundwater can be quartz or calcite or a few different other types of minerals. An example of clastic sedimentary rock is sandstone. Slightly different processes are used in the production of biochemical, organic and chemical sedimentary rock, but firstly biochemical sedimentary rock. Biochemical sedimentary rock forms when sea organisms die and leave their shell remains on the ocean floor where they can, where they can accumulate over time. These shells are made up of calcium carbonate or CaCO3. The conditions which are ideal for the collection of this calcium carbonate is often called a carbonate factory. And these conditions include warm oceans, which are tropical or subtropical, with normal salinity of the marine water, which are wave agitated and oxygenated and often shallow waters. A good example of this type of environment, which actually exists today, would be the Great Barrier Reef. This accumulated carbonate is then covered and undergoes lithification much the same as the clastic sedimentary rock. This process is known to often produce a rock called limestone. Now to look at organic sedimentary rock. Organic sedimentary rock forms from the accumulation of organic matter, that is plants and animals. Dead plants and animals that would normally decay at the earth's surface as they would be eaten away or rot fall into bodies of water where there is limited oxygen. These limited oxygen environments actually slow down the decaying process. This means that we can have an accumulation of plant and animal matter at the bottom of bodies of water. This accumulated material is then buried and then altered as it is subjected to heat and pressure. This process is known to concentrate the carbon within the carbon rich organic matter and it often produces something that we call coal. Coal is combustible and we dig it up from the ground today to burn it to create electricity today. And finally, chemical sedimentary rock forms when dissolved minerals are forced to precipitate out of the water and then accumulate at the bottom of bodies of water. An example of this today is salt flats which form from the precipitation of salt out of bodies of water as they dry up. That's the end of this video on sedimentary rock formations. I hope it helped.